Alright, you do have audio, correct? I don't know if it's too low, but... Dialogue's all the way up. <laughs> I think we'll leave that there. <laughs> the fuck is that? Um, Alright, we'll see how the audio is. I won't know until we actually jump in. I don't care if the music's slow, as long as we can hear what's going on. Alright, here we go. This will delete all save pro yes, because I just fired it up and didn't actually play it. Hello? You should be able to hear me now. I know this must be very confusing. Please don't panic. My name is Amy, which means your name is Amy, I guess. You see what I see. You feel what I feel. And you can guide me to do what you want me to do. Don't try to remember. Our memories are mingled together. It will take time to find your way through them. I'll do my best to give you a short summary of what happened during the last 10 years. I wish I had more time, but people are waiting for us. People from your time yeah, were at viewers. each other's throat. The whole climate situation was going downhill. Old conflicts flared up anew, and war spread through the world like cancer that hadn't been cut out completely. But then the inflection happened. An enormous alien spacecraft landed in the desert. That wasn't the inflection. It was what happened when the doors opened. The beings that landed on our planet told us the truth. I mean all of us, at once. It was completely unbelievable and it will be to anyone who hasn't witnessed it. But within the fraction of a second, the secrets of the universe were unveiled, and with them came two gifts that the outsiders had brought us. It was technology, really. The gift of flesh and the gift of neon. Two completely different ways of creating the most advanced and powerful tools, which must seem like magic to someone like you. The doors of the spaceship closed again, and the two beings communicating with us left as promptly as they had arrived. You must understand what this did to us. The magnitude of their revelation shifted our worldviews profoundly. We began to revere these beings as gods, and although our knowledge about them is limited, we understand that they belong to two divine families, the Amesha Spentas and the Daiva. Almost immediately, humanity forsook their traditional religions. In their stead arose the Church of Flesh, dedicated to the Amesha, and the Church of Neon, which pledged allegiance to the Daiva. Okay, I have to hurry up. First and foremost, you need to understand the core philosophies of the two divine families. The Amesha value free will, life, chaos, and change. In contrast, the Daiva prioritize order, security, and stability. These concepts aren't inherently contradictory. We recognize the necessity of a balance between the two. Given human nature's tendency <laughs> towards individualism, it's no surprise that the Church of Amesha attracted the majority. To maintain equilibrium, an agreement was forged between the two churches. The Amesha assumed control of the legislative branch of governance, while the Daiva, acting as the counterbalance, took charge of both the judicial and executive branches. Now, we are an FBI agent working for the Church of Neon, and our briefing is right about to begin. Now. Ah, Agent Tanner. We were wondering if we would see you today. May I assume the connection was a success then? Yes, sir. The spirit is cooperative, I think. We are ready for our assignment. Very well. We will start with something simple so you two can learn to work together. The chief asked us for our assistance in investigating a robbery. Not the most flashy case, but the item in question was a book stolen from the Cathedral of Lytton. The involvement of the Church of Flesh can make things a little spicy, so tread carefully. Your contact on site is Officer McCarthy. Get to the Cathedral ASAP. Dismissed. Okay. I don't know why they call you. They decided to call them churches instead of just uh, 
like parties or something. It's, it's obviously like government related stuff. But whatever. Alright. Um, what is this? Bag, Ramirez, a locker. Oh, is this like hotspot stuff? Okay. Please explain how our connection works. To be honest, I don't understand most of it myself, but I'll tell you what the doc told me. You are an AI model trained on the memory of a dead person with exceptional skills. Says the AI. The model has been implemented in my neural interface so we can communicate and you have access to my vision. You can't directly access my memory, and I can't access yours in the case it comes back. But you will know what I am thinking, so if I recall something from memory, you'll be able to see it as well. So it's kind of like Keanu Reeves in your head in Cyberpunk, right? Sort of. Oh, you've seen him. I guess I must get used to having someone else sharing my thoughts. Huh. Sorry, it's not your fault. I've been thinking about Jeff a lot lately. He's my... We share an apartment. It's complicated. Oh, that's... Again, artwork is very appealing. I guess... Uh, regardless of the source, it's very appealing. It's pretty cool. So this is the briefcase our inventory, basically. Digipad. Okay. I have no idea what it's for. All right, get off. <laughs> we can get custom tailored armor from. Sorry. We can get custom tailored armor from the armor manager. But I don't think that will be necessary for this case. Okay. I've taken my gun and the quantum matrix scanner from the locker. I assume you know how a gun works, but let me brief you on the proper use of the scanner. This device can scan the quantum matrix of any item. If the scanner successfully determines the inherent superposition of the object, it indicates that the object's context is predictable to some extent. Conversely, if the superposition is indistinct, the item has a more chaotic alignment. Let me give you an example. If someone plans weeks in advance to dine at a specific restaurant for a particular dish, that food's quanta will have a distinct superposition. However, if someone spontaneously strolls an unfamiliar street and grabs a meal from the first available place, that food's quantum matrix will be less defined. This principle applies to both past and future contexts of items. As you might surmise, this can also be related to the individuals who have, are, or will interact with the item. The mean chaos value of items related to the Church of Flesh is higher than that of the Church of Neon. If the scanner detects extreme values at either end of the spectrum, we must submit the item to forensics for detailed analysis. Hope you got all that shit. Because I won't remember. So it's in our inventory now, right? Okay. Gun. No. Okay. I better tell Ramirez to watch his stuff. I'm not cleaning up after him. Yo, Ramirez. Hey, Ramirez. Don't let your stuff lie around everywhere. Oh, Amy, always looking after me. You're so sweet. What would I do without you? Hey, Ramirez, don't let... Oh, Amy. Mm. Fly, what are you doing here so early? Didn't expect to see you before noon. Cleaning up the streets again. You know, instead of doing boring detective work, you could come with me and make your hands a little dirty. Sorry, but I already got a partner and a case to solve. Right. I've heard that you've got yourself a spirit guide. How is she? Or is it a he? Well, he. we are still getting to know each other. So far, I've got no complaints. We'll see how he performs on our first case together. Just said you don't know, but then you called it a he. <laughs> Just pointing that out. Alright. Um, I 
guess that's all in here. Alright, so leads us to the lobby, I guess. Okay. Various status displays of the Shit. various status displays of the city's security levels and directional information. Oh, so you're gonna tell me? Okay. A scanner that keeps track of everyone entering or leaving the building. Okay. Forensics, the locker room, city. Oh, let's go forensic. If you need an analysis, just give me the item in question and I will see what I can find out about it. About this. Do you know anything about If you about? need an analysis. No. I give people items, I'm curious. Only on items in the suitcase. Okay. Oh, so if I take the gun out and then click the person, she'll, like, in a sense, try to shoot the person. All right, got it. <laughs> a fine example of neon tech. It's, it's quite fine. We're doing a lot of DNA analysis. Not only of human DNA, but also of all kinds of flesh artifacts. Okay. Is that it? Okay, so, so. All right, let's talk to her. Oh, we just did already. All right, she didn't give us anything. Um, AK, welcome in, slacker. I guess we're already in the locker room, right? Exit to the city, I guess. Oh, okay. Power off, scroll down, scroll up, and the rest is just for show. So you can see how it's kind of like just got some AI pattern stuff. It just doesn't do anything. Alright. Um, Neon District Police. Cathedral Litton. Is there a quest log? Right click to scan for use of item. Your standard FBI laser gun, 50 shots per charge, super, super position 13. Digipad is lightweight, semi transparent tablet. Okay. Um. I just completed Quieten Azuma Manor story. I guess I should know what that is, but I don't off the top of my head. <laughs> Alright. A little feedback for this game. Or in a future. It would be nice if you can zoom in and out on the map. Instead of panning, just panning around. So you could see everything. Just thought I'd throw that out there. So where do we need to go? I guess we gotta go over here, right? The Cathedral of Lytton is a masterful display of the power of flesh. It's one of the most important places of worship for the Amesha. It's unbelievable that someone broke into the heavily guarded church and stole one of its relics without getting caught or triggering the alarm. Like I said, I mean, for AI-generated art, it looks really cool. <laughs> I can't complain with the art style. It's nicely generated. It, it, if there's any, I guess, a little discrepancy with the artwork is... Um, it's it's got a theme where a lot of stuff is tentacles, you know, like up here and stuff. 
to me that's not very cyborgish, but as long as it meshes together, it's not a problem. It's you know it's okay. Twitch says I'm playing call. Oh, does it say that? The fuck. Oh, thanks. Thought I updated that. All right, there you go. Should be fixed now. Thank you uh, to my one moderator who's very observant. To th minus the other one who's been here for almost an hour and didn't even notice. <laughs> I'll point that out. Alright. What's Arathuster's eye? A pulpit? A door? Officer Goodman? Church bench? Alright. I found a toy robot left behind by some churchgoer. These toy robots come with recording functionality. Maybe I can connect it to the to the download connected to download this data connected to what I was able to transfer the recording to my digi pad it's very noisy a woman is screaming but I can't understand it almost sounds like a different language but none that I've ever heard Okay. As long as the church is closed, nobody is going to read from that pulpit. Not that we don't already have enough pressure from Director Parker. I like how I took the item of evidence off the, uh, well, not that it was evidence really, because I guess she didn't know it was sitting there, but she doesn't even say anything. The Eye of the Prophet. He foretold that our gods one day will return and take us with them door. on a spiritual intergalactic journey. All right, let's talk to her. Well, let's look at the pulpit as long first. as the church is closed, nobody is going. Oh, we already, we already looked at Hello, that. I'm Agent Tanner. You must be Officer McCarthy, I assume. Oh no, I'm sorry. McCarthy has left about an hour ago. I just hope he'll be back soon. I'm his trainee and in all honesty don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I've tried to call him, but got no answer. My name is Goodman. I'll do my best to help. Very anime voice. <laughs> you know. He wanted to meet an informant who had information on the case. I don't have a name, unfortunately, but you could check with dispatch to see if they have anything in their log. Let me check my notes. At approximately 2 a.m., it was reported that an unauthorized entry occurred at the study of the Cathedral of Lytton. Upon investigation, it was determined that the premises had been accessed without any visible signs of forced entry. The method of entry remains unknown. The only item reported missing is a valuable book described as the Echo of Ahura Mazda. Frederick Phelps, the usher, reported the incident to the police at 5.20 a.m. He discovered the book missing from the table in the study, where, according to him, the minister had left it the previous night. Phelps may still be at the police station. There wasn't much to go on. Whoever stole the book had access to the church and its security systems. We have no recordings, fingerprints, or signs of forced entry. The book is estimated to be worth $500,000 but its value will likely be covered by the church's insurance. Gotta find that and sell it on eBay. According to the usher's report, the minister was still at the cathedral around 4 p.m. yesterday. We haven't been able to contact her yet, but Bishop Atura vouched for her and informed us she will be here later this afternoon. Don't you find it a bit unusual that the bishop is so involved in all this? I'm not sure. Perhaps? It might just be a coincidence. The cathedral is clearly important to the Church of Flesh, and, as you know, they have a penchant for unpredictable and erratic behavior. Okay. Do 
Talk to her. Look at that. Look at this. There's a door over here. Hey, where do you think you're going? These rooms are private. I'm here on official business. Cares. Agent Tanner, FBI. You are Bishop Atura, correct? A Deva snooping around a church. What a surprise. I've already talked to the police, but sure, go ahead. Waste more of my precious time. I'm the bishop. This is our church. I have to take care of things and ensure everything's in order. I'm surprised to hear the word order from an Amesha. And I'm not surprised that you don't understand. For the Deva, everything is either black or white. Of course, we need order. To a certain extent, that is. It's an opulent copy of the Echo of Ahura Mazda, bound in rose-tinted flesh and adorned with gems and gold inlays. I'm familiar with that book. It's a rather standard text that's available at every drugstore. Well, it might seem mundane to you, but it holds significant meaning and wisdom for our beliefs. However, you're right in a general sense. The content of the book isn't unique. The thieves must have targeted it for the ornate cover. I spoke with Officer McCarthy, and he informed me that he's leading the case. Unless he's present on site, I cannot grant you access to the private areas of the church. Never mind. All right. That's all we're getting here. Okay, so we did get a doll. Yeah, I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of the way the map is. It's not a big map by any means, but it would be nice if we could zoom out. Server tank, front desk, desk. Server These tank. tanks are actually computers made from flesh. Well, in parts anyway. Agent Tanner, how can I be of service? Have you heard back from Officer McCarthy? No, he's still underway. Could you search in the logs if he called someone during the last few hours? Sure. Just one second. He made one call. That was a the quick number second. is five 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 seven five three two one two three. It's not registered in our database, so it's probably a disposable phone. Thank you. Burner phone. <laughs> Another busy day in the city. It's really loud in here. Let's go in here and wait for uh, Phelps. Oh. A, a plant. It's Phelps there. A kid. The plant adds a touch of life to the otherwise cold room. I'll call it Chuck. Okay. <laughs> I don't need anything from him right now. I'm Agent Tanner. And I have a few questions for you. The feds are getting involved in this? Oh my, how much longer do I have to stay here? You're free to go home whenever you'd like, but I'd greatly appreciate it if you could stay just a bit longer to answer my questions. Please reiterate what happened last night and this morning. I was exhausted and left the church early, around four o'clock. Yesterday's mass was extremely chaotic, and I just wanted to get home. I felt a pang of guilt, so I came back extra early today, around five in the morning. That's when I discovered the book was missing from the table in the study. I called the minister, Laura Williams, and she assured me that she had left the book on the table. I informed her that I couldn't find it anywhere. She advised me to report it to the police and said she'd inform the bishop about the incident. You know where the minister is. She's still out? I have no idea. Normally she arrives at the church at around 8. 
Okay. Please tell me more about yesterday's incident. It was utter chaos. A disturbed woman kept interrupting the mass, constantly shouting insults and accusations. Minister Williams attempted to calm her down, but it was to no avail. Ultimately, security had to forcibly remove her. However, about 30 minutes later, she came back with a reporter in tow. I believe she was trying to prove a point, but her claims were just incoherent ramblings. The reporter seemed to think so too, judging by today's article. The crowd grew agitated, and things nearly escalated to a fistfight. That's when the minister decided to have security clear the room and called off the mass. All right. Shoot the kid. A recording. And why would that be worth my time? Sorry, I'm still looking for a connection to the case. Just a... <laughs> you gotta use this on like everybody or something? Yes, that's her. The crazy woman from yesterday. Okay, that's what I needed to do. I still can't understand a word she's saying. Hmm. Maybe the bishop could help with that. He's an expert on old and forgotten languages. Okay, now we'll go to the bishop. Okay. I keep thinking that's the exit for some odd reason. I don't know why. Alright, let's go back to the bishop. Yeah, I'll show him this thing. This sounds familiar. Yes, I've definitely heard this language before. Unfortunately, the recording quality isn't the best. And you think this is important for the case? I believe so, yes. That's the woman who caused all the trouble during yesterday's mass. There might be a connection to the missing book. You might be onto something. I can't afford any more bad press for the church. Give me a copy of the recording, and I'll ensure it's translated by tomorrow. Okay, so we gotta come back to him during day two. Okay. Um, I do this then. Oh, that's where the recording came from. Hmm. Okay, so what am I supposed to do now? Like... Mm. I don't have any reason to visit the temple now. Maybe later. Well, maybe I wanted to go there. You ever think of that? Sometimes these flesh growths can be quite beautiful. Vohu Mana Station is a great example of successful Amesha architecture. 
an interactive terminal that provides information for passengers and tourists. I don't have anything to ask him right now. Okay, so we can't do anything here. Convenience store. Bridge food shelves. Contrary to what you would assume, many Amesha are actually vegetarians. Again, like this all looks cool. But I mean it is kind of neat how AI can do all that. Ugh, that must be some kind of local delicacy? I think it looks disgusting. Can't tell what it looks like. I mean, this looks like it's got veggies, potatoes, and shit. All right, let's talk to the Stabroni. I'm looking for an issue of Echo. Uh, it's like a food store. Why would it be here? Sure, I'll withdraw the fifteen dollars from your account. Okay. Newspaper, sure. Please. I've transferred the paper to your digipad. The first issue is free. Basic edition of the book. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Didn't work. Didn't work. Alright. Um it's in here, right? Okay. Where else can we go? Don't want to go there and go back there. We have been That's to the where tower. I live. We'll go there after the shift is over. Okay. I don't have any. So, oh, he doesn't need the book, right? I don't think he would be interested in a standard copy of the book. Why not? Drop this doll off. No. Probably needs to be a collector station. <laughs> no. Alright. Let's over here anything different? No. Uh let's go to the police thingy, Majiggy. Same stuff. The front desk, but I don't have any requests so far. Another busy book to the kid. No. No. <laughs> uh need anything from you already own oh never mind I was reading that backwards <laughs> I thought that was AK asking you that question don't ask me why the front desk but I don't um How do you... A sneeze. <laughs> Whew, excuse me. <clears throat> Thank you. Alright. 
Can't show in the book. Yes, that's her. The crazy woman from yesterday. But I still can't understand a word she said. did saying. that already. Hmm. Maybe the bishop could help with that. He's an expert on old and forgotten languages. Um... <laughs> like, what's Ellie? That tells me he ain't, he ain't buying it. <laughs> you don't even, even know what the uh, acronym is for. Chuck the tree. Let's see. Can I scan the tree? No. No. Yes, that's her. The hmm. We already went to him. He said he would do that thing for us tomorrow. Edition Wednesday apps. <laughs> well, you know, I, don't, I, I mean, I guess I could see that, but not really. That's kind of funny, though. Um, I'm just supposed to go from here. What am I missing? Right to here. Not sure what to do. I don't think he would. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do next. This door leads to the study. Can I go in that door now? This door leads to the study. Guess not. That's where I live. She doesn't want to go home yet. I don't have any reason. To Got a suggestion on what could possibly be next? 
way over here. It's forensics. I'll run the recording through the spectrum analyzer. No, it doesn't look suspicious. There are no hidden frequencies or apparent audio manipulations detected. Yeah, well, it doesn't really help me much. I don't have anything to ask him right now. An interactive. This game's a little vague on like. Like you get hardly any information from the forensic person, and it just kind of leaves you in limbo a little bit. Like, what are you supposed to do then? These tanks are. The front desk, another busy day. Yes, that's her. The crazy woman from... Hmm. I, I don't need any... Did that, though. Um, like I said, just not sure where the game kind of wants you to go next. Like, the way... I mean, this is kind of more like a... Um, visual... Visual story kind of thing. In my opinion, it should, should kind of be like... I won't say a quest log, but just like some some area where... Like, you know, for example, like... Call of Cthulhu Shadow Comedy has like a diary where he puts his notes. Like, it would be nice if she had something. Just so you can keep track of, like, kind of like what the game wants you to do next. Or at least kind of point you in the right direction. Do you want to go home now? That's where I live. Mm -hmm. I don't have any. I don't have anything to ask him right now. I'm not sure what to do. Anybody got a suggestion? Or an idea? I can't. If you need an analysis, just give me the item in question, and I will see what I can find out. So she doesn't have anything to say. Can't just show her the book. She doesn't want it. Uh... I'll run the recording through the Spectrum Analyzer. No, it doesn't look suspicious. There are no hidden frequencies or apparent audio manipulations detected. Good punk. Uh, welcome in, man. You haven't tried the pad at the front desk, please, I think. Front desk. Okay. Guess we could do that.
Hello again, Sunny. Can you please search the database for this woman? Ah, uh, thank of you. Of course, Agent Tanner. Here she tip. is, Anna Steele, age 31, last seen by CCTV at Bohu Mana Station. Do you have anything else on her in the files? No, her record is completely empty. Yeah, it's, it's just... <laughs> just empty, okay, and it just cuts the black, like... I just kind of feel like there's some left out follow-up dialogues that should be in here. To kind of give the player a little bit of a, more of a cue what to do, instead of just spam clicking everything. Um, showing the book. I don't care. No. All right, let me just do this one more time. Hello again, Sunny. Can you please search the database for this woman? Of course, Agent Tanner. Here she is, Anna Steele, age thirty-one, last seen by CCTV at Bohu Mana Station. All right, so we gotta go to Mana Station. Do you have anything right. else on her in the files? No, her record is completely empty. It's kind of what I meant. Okay. I just got to really, really listen to the dialogue here. All right, so to the station now. So now I guess we can talk to her. Hello, I'm Agent Tanner, FBI, okay. searching for this woman. Can you please check your records if she showed up at this station? Certainly. Just a moment. Yes, she was here today, captured on CCTV just about four hours ago. She used the info terminal, then left the station. She just came in, used the terminal, and left right after? Yes, it looks like it. Here, I'll give you the admin password of the terminal. You can look up what she was searching for. An interactive terminal that provides information for passengers and tourists. An interactive... Yeah? Oh. Let's see. Four hours ago. Ah, uh, this must be it. The abandoned station? I've heard about that. It was the first train station an Amisha architect tried to build, but it was a massive disaster. That <clears throat> was during the time when the evangelists used the gift without really understanding how it works. Many of these projects failed, and some were even dangerous. A heap of regulations has been passed since then. Oh, great! The Vohumana station was built right next to the abandoned station. I should just be able to walk there. Sounds good to me. Let's walk. Okay, interesting. So we got a burner phone. Tracks. These tracks are going nowhere. The station was abandoned as soon as the flesh grew out of control. Sounds like the last of us. <laughs> I've found a phone hidden beneath the rumble. If this is Anna Steele's phone, she might have gone into the underground tunnels. The phone is encrypted. I should let someone have a look at it. Okay. Let's just see if we can do anything with it. Um... So I phone encrypted it and has high superposition. Underground. Here we go. I'm not going into these tunnels without reinforcements. Well, I don't want to go in there. All right. <laughs> Care less what you want. Um. So I guess we got to go back to. All right. Let's go to forensics. I guess. And get the. Thingy looked at. Thingy majiggy. How long will it take you to decrypt this phone? That's a Let me see. Right. And I've got access. What do you want to know? Everything. <laughs> what can you tell me about the phone's quantum superposition? The phone's got an unusual stable superposition. Let me cross reference that with the character trait database. Hmm. No. Nothing. So that means the superposition is not linked to the person using it, but rather the mode of operation. This phone was not bought, used, or thrown away spontaneously, but was part of a plan. 
Can you tell me who the phone belongs to? Sorry, no. The phone was wiped clean of any stored data. It's the phone number, blah, 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 blah. Let me check. Yes, that's the correct number. How did you know? It's the last number that Officer McCarthy called. So whoever owns this phone was likely the last person to see him. I guess this is my best lead then. I wish I wouldn't have to go down those underground tunnels, but it seems to be my best option. That's why I wanted to go down there. Dang it. <laughs> Care about this? No. But now we gotta go back to the train station again, I guess. Well, let's check in here first. Nope. And nope. Alright. I don't know why I keep kicking my looking at it. I, <laughs> briefcase thinking that's exit for some odd reason. <laughs> gotta get that out of my head. Alright, back to the train station. Here. Now will she go? I'm not going into these tunnels without reinforcements. Okay, so do we gotta get her crew? Um here maybe? Fly, I need your help. I want to follow a possible suspect into some abandoned underground tunnels. Oh, you're taking me on an adventure. Sure, meet you at the entrance. It's about time you get to experience some excitement. Cool. Hey, Ramirez, don't let your stuff lie around everywhere. Oh, Amy, all, all right. Screw Ramirez. We don't need him. He's a putz. Let's go. Let all the women do the work. Well, there you are. Finally, ready to go in? <laughs> uh, yeah. So let's uh, let's go. Freeze now. Uh... Fuck! Fly! Are you okay? Ah. With all that armor, you would think getting shot did hurt less. That bitch escaped through the service tunnels. I don't think we should follow. That's a maze down there. Damn it! You're right, we would only get lost or ambushed. Let's look around if she left any tracks. That bitch! Bullet show. All right, let's check out the bullet show. I've picked up the empty shell. All right, so it is a empty bullet shell fired from Anna Steele's gun. Okay, how do we, how do we know that if we don't have Anna Steele's gun? Could have just been laying there before she shot. Fly has a point. Venturing in there poses too much risk. We'll arrange for the tunnels to be searched tomorrow instead. Okay. What the hell is this place? It's one hell of a train. It's a flesh construction gone wrong. You know, from the early days, Ugh, freaking flesh breeders, this is disgusting. Hey, you're not supposed to use that word. Oh, come on, Amy, look at this place and tell me this doesn't freak you out. By the way, hey, little man inside Amy's head, having fun yet? Uh, sort of. <laughs> this is exciting, I'm having a great time. Uh, how about we call it a day and get ourselves some drinks? I'd throw up if I had a stomach. Uh, it's a huh, great time. I like him. You should keep him. Okay. She likes this chat. Alright. Uh, Gigantuan, Cavity, Clutter, and Tanaka. Alright. Let's look at the clutter. The stuff lying around here is not old. Someone must have spent some time here recently. We refer to these enormous, fleshy outgrowths as gigantuans. Due to the chaotic nature of flesh, if it isn't cultivated properly, it can sprout into these creatures. 
or whatever you might choose to call them. They're not alive in any conventional sense. The growth can happen rapidly and spontaneously. It can be very dangerous if people are nearby. So how do they die if they're not alive? Something else over here, wasn't there? Oh, cavity. There's something lying beneath the platform. Get it. Gross. Is that McCarthy? I'm afraid so. Look, there's some kind of device stuck to his chest. A cavity below the platform where I've found McCarthy's body. Oh, okay. He's already picked it up. A strange device I've found in McCarthy's body. Okay, fair enough. Uh, that's it for that. Okay, let's talk to her. Can we leave already? The smell in here is making me sick. Sick. Um, alright. I guess there's nothing else. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Fly, can you go back to HQ and tell Director Parker that I'm taking over the case? Sure, as long as you're doing the paperwork of what happened here. Sounds good. Alright, go to forensics. Just drop this item off. Oh my, what is this thing? I don't know, that's why I wanted to ask you. I there found you it on McCarthy's body. He was entangled in these flesh tendrils. Disgusting, poor man. I will see what I can find out about it, but this will take a while. I'll notify you when I've found something. Find anything yet? What can you tell me about this shell? Interesting. That's an old 9mm, almost an antique. It's not easy to get your hands on these. They are mostly sought after because these old guns don't have tracking beacons. They're not only very expensive, but also hard to find. Well, I found one very easily, so take that. Okay. Uh, did we show? Yeah, we, sh did we show her home. Yeah, we did already. Um. Okay. Still nothing going on here, right? No. Nope. Yo, kid, look at this bullet. No. No. Alright. Uh, go back here, I guess. Show this stuff to these people. Bullet. No. Oh, no. Burner phone. No. Nope. Show them that. Show them the pads again. Oh. No. Okay. Anything new to say? No. Ah. Barfi is dead. Officially taken over the investigation. Dead? This whole affair is getting out of control. I hope you know what you're doing. Fine, but be careful. We got study access. You want to get the legs on that table checked out. So we got a bookshelf, scratches on the floor, and we got a table. Let's look at the table. No sign of the book here. It's crammed full of religious books. Nothing stands out in particular. The floor beneath the bookshelf is scratched, as if the shelf had been moved a lot. Move that bitch. The floor beneath... Okay. Talk 
after him again? No. Just won't scan the scratches. The floor beneath the floor beneath. We know that. I can't move the shelf. Maybe there's some kind of locking mechanism. I can't move the shelf. No sign of the book here. The floor beneath the floor beneath. I can't move the shelf. Okay, so how do you how would you find the mechanism? Shoot that shit. <laughs> nope. She doesn't want to shoot anything. Come on, figure you put the book in the shelf or something when move it. I don't know. If, is that all we can do in here? I guess so. Ma'am, the station is called. Minister Williams arrived and is ready for interrogation. Guess that's where we're going, huh? Um these tanks are no. Oh. All right, let's, let's talk to her. Where have you been the whole day? At home, taking the day off. I'm not a young gal like you. The commotion during yesterday's mass has taken its toll. You're part of the Borg. Can't fool me. I'll search a study. I bet you can tell me something about the bookshelf. The shelf? I don't know what you are getting at. Don't play dumb. The shelf has been moved regularly. When I tried to get behind it, it was stuck. Yeah. All right, you got me. I'm keeping a bottle of whiskey in there. Happy now? No. I'd be even more Bullshit. happy if you would tell me how to open it. <laughs> Just push the three green books on the bottom shelf and you should hear a click. But hands off my stuff. I know how much was left. Look at this board I found. Or not. You know the cell phone? No. Here's this book. Any interest? No. Want a toy robot? No. Alright, let's get out of here. Get back. Here. Go back in here. Ha! Got it. There's a bottle in here and another book. I'll take both. No, they don't even show you moving the bookcase. That's kind of cheap. See, that's kind of where having just flat backgrounds kind of sucks. Like I would have liked to see it go, but again, it's it's AI generated background art, so it doesn't really do anything. Fortunately, that's where the AI stuff in this case and for this game kind of. Kind of isn't good. It's not terrible, but just yeah. Uh, missing book. The book was here all along. Okay, whiskey bottle, half-empty bottle of cheap whiskey. All right. Ah, turn off. Yeah, because it's it's just the little you know like little interacting characteristics of the game. Um, now again, for a visual novel, if, if that's what they were technically going for, I don't even know if those show any kind of like animation. I don't really play those games, but it was still nice to see if it was just like a even stop motion like cutscene where you just as the the background and just sh you know shifts the background through Photoshop or something so at least it looks like it moves or something. Just something, just to give it a little bit of character. A little life. 
but you know, it is what it is. Uh, let's take the whiskey bottle. Here you go. No, you don't want any. But this book, sir. I found the book. It was in the study, hidden in a secret compartment behind the bookshelf. Oh, that's great. So this has all been just a big misunderstanding. An officer is dead. I would not call that a misunderstanding. Pretty true. Um, show it to her. Just give a shit. There you go. You won't need a drink. You've been standing there all day. Nope. She doesn't care. Alright. Um. Out. Let's go to forensics, I guess. How about this book? Can you please check this book for fingerprints? Sure, no problem. I'll run it through the scanner. The only prints I was able to find were yours. But look here. The top of the book has these stripes. If you ask me, someone has wiped the book clean. Tell me anything about this half uh, drink whiskey bottle. No. I mean, you can't get DNA off that bottle. What are you telling me? You can't do nothing with it. That's bullshit. You can get DNA off that bottle cap. Someone had to stick their lips on it. <laughs> or a fingerprint on the glass or something. Bullshit, lady. You're part of the conspiracy. Um, alright, let's go to headquarters or police, whatever. Go in here. Let's talk to her, show her the book. Just give a shit. Show her a bottle. I didn't drink any. That bottle is mine now. I'm not giving it back. Well, that's kind of rude. <laughs> Stealing her shit. Okay. Um, for now, I'm not sure what we're doing. I don't need anything from him. Stuff to the front desk. Nope. 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 Recorders, locker room. Sure to shit to them. Nope. Nope. So far, Rodriguez, or Ramirez, rather, he's waste. He's a he's a waste. He's a waste of space. All right, so now I'm a little, a little stumped on what to do next. Uh, let's see if I show her something here. Nope, nope. Okay. Show her the thingy. I'll run the recording through the spectrum analyzer. No, it doesn't look suspicious. There are no. I already did that. Um, she take we give her the bullet. What can you tell me about this shell? Yeah, we did this. Then we Interesting. Did. That's an old nine millimeter, almost yeah, an antique. Yeah, we did that. Okay. I don't have any uh, no reason to go there. Convenience store. Hey, look at this bullet shell I found. Here. How about this book? Not a whiskey. No. Talk to him? No. Nope. Nope. Not sure what to do now.
That's where I live. We'll go there after the shift is over. So obviously when I'm done, I just not sure where we go next now. I don't Make have any error. I don't have anything to add. An interact. I found us in your station. Bastard. Come on, go. The crime scene unit will be down there soon. I don't want to get in their way. Okay. I legitimately don't know what to do next. It's like I tried... My mind, I exhausted everything to do. I showed everybody, I tried clicking everything. Right? What did I not do? No fly scene to go back. What's your history? We went to the academy together, not in Carcosa, but in Peoria. We spent a lot of time together back then. She was probably my best friend. After graduation, she went to SWAT, and I stayed with the local police force. We lost contact until very recently when I joined the Carcosa FBI division, where she just happened to be stationed as well. Okay. It's possible to read the books. Um... No. The missing book is missing some pages. Maybe someone had been messing around with it. I should ask the bishop about that. Okay, I guess that's maybe what we need to do. That's new. I don't think he would be interested in a standard copy of the book. The echo of Ahura Mazda is missing some pages. Here, have a look. Hmm. I don't see any pattern here. They seem very random. Laura has probably not taken very good care of the book. I wouldn't read too much into it. I'm not so convinced. I'll have to keep the book as evidence for now. Fine. The book is easily replaced. Okay. So maybe she I think dropped we should call them. it a day. Let's go home. Well, hang on, lady. <laughs> this page is missing. What happened? I found the missing book. It was in your little pantry. What? That's impossible. I've left the book on the table. Why would I put it in there? No disrespect, madam, but these things can happen with age. How dare you? My mind is sharp as ever, probably sharper than yours has ever been. All right, well, it's a little piece of dialogue we didn't, we would have missed. All right, so let's go home now. All right. I think we should call it a day. Okay, here we are. I think I need to explain something. Please do. When I said that Jeff and I share an apartment, what I should have actually said is that he owns this mind-blowing penthouse and I live there with him. No, we are not in a romantic relationship if that's what you're thinking. He appreciates the companionship and there's a mutual physical attraction between us. Oh, so it's a little fucky-fucky. I got you. All right. Not wrong, Black. Oh, 
One second, I need some more munchies. Schneider sourdough bite sized pretzels. Highly recommend. <laughs> I don't know, cookies. Little bite sized pretzels. Sourdough. That's really very good. Alright. Mmm, nah. What do we need to do in here? A view, a note, and a cabinet. Carcosa might not be pretty, but the city is remarkably alive. Literally, with all the flesh. <laughs> I've taken a glass. Okay. Cheers to the minister. What a day. And you know what? It's nice not to have to drink alone. Got an achievement for that, by the way. In case you guys were interested. <laughs> um, I'll be no. at the office for the next few days. I've left some of your favorites in the fridge. See you soon. Oh, chicken parmesan. However, I'm not really hungry after today. I might have it for breakfast then. Why would you eat chicken parmesan for breakfast? It's not exactly a breakfast food. <laughs> I mean, it's ham, but it would be my first choice. Is that it? All right. Now what? She said not to drink her bottle. I wonder if we should have kept that bottle and not drank it. Even though I got an achievement for it. What happened to all the rest of the stuff? You take it? Jeff left this note for me. Let me read it again. It's not. So if we... Oh, exit the bedroom. Okay. We get to see some boobas. I'll explain if we do, that explains why Angel picked the game. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm curious what you're oh, about the cage. Jeff forgot his digipad. This man, a genius, but totally inept to keep his stuff together. Sounds like me. Can we take it? Oh, J no. you've noticed it. Well, <laughs> I guess it's hard to overlook. Yes, sometimes I spend the night in there. Consensually, of course. Huh? But what about you? Does this make you uncomfortable? That all depends. I mean, if you're going to stand in there butt naked, I ain't got a problem with it. <laughs> but, you know, is that where you go for playtime? Tickle the taco, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'm up for that. Does sound kind of exciting. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. It is definitely exciting. Just promise to tell me if we do something that you don't appreciate, okay? Sure. No, I'm not going to rummage through the drawers. Then why put a marker over here? 